Hey there, welcome to another episode of The Caption Life, a podcast about how comics and pop culture impact life and society, and vice versa. Coming to you from the sweltering swamp that is Southeast Texas in August, I'm Kevin. And from the crossroads of America, which is Indianapolis, I am Sean. And before we get started with this episode, please hit the subscribe button on whatever podcast platform you're listening to us on and follow us on social media under the username at Caption Life on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Reddit. You can also find out more information and past episodes at thecaptionlife.com. That's right. And today we are talking about an event that comic book geeks across the globe are gearing up for, and that is the annual free comic book day. Yes, so we thought it would be good to talk to the experts, so we decided to interview our local comic shop owners. So joining us from Downtown Comics here in Indianapolis is Mike Costello. And then joining us from Space Cadets Collection Collection is Miss Jen King. And here they are. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about your store? All right. Well, my name is Michael Costello. I work for Downtown Comics. We started it in 1993. We have three locations in the Indianapolis area. Uh, I mean, we we deal with comics and graphic novels, toys, uh, cards, card games, just a little bit of everything. But you know, comics is is what we do. Uh, that's that's our main focus, I guess. Gotcha. What what made uh, what made you decide to open up a comic book store? The well, I, I met I met my partner in college, and we had bonded over our love of comics. Plus, he had owned a store as a teenager mm-hmm. uh, where he lived, and he helped pay for college actually, you know, using the profits from the store. So he ran his own business there when he was. 16 or whatever and uh you know it was just one of those things that we bonded over but then four years after we all graduated three or four years he just calls me and says hey i'd like to do this again you want you want in on this thing i mean that was (laughs) what it was and i was like what (laughs) (laughs) so um yeah and you know when you're young and you're not married you don't have kids and you know you're like okay let's do this you right know, you don't ever think it's going to be a thing you think oh well, it's a little adventure and, right uh, and you know maybe you i don't know maybe i was i was pretty naive saying like well i mean if it fails i just get another job you know it's not like i was a doctor or something like that so um <laughs> so yeah I, I said okay so yeah i moved i moved out to indiana and and uh, we started the store, the first one. Nice. Awesome. Um, so switching gears a little bit, what is Free Comic Book Day and what do you as a store owner or, or even as a fan like about it? Well, it was started, I think, I mean, COVID has kind of thrown the timeline off, but I think it would be the 17th year. It started in 2000 2002, I forget, early 2000s. So Mm -hmm. um, it was an idea from a retailer uh, from Arizona. He, he, the germ of the idea came from a retailer out in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Uh, He was specifically, he noticed that Baskin Robbins, I don't even know if those still exist now, but Baskin Robbins used to have a free ice cream day Mm -hmm. every year where they would give away a scoop of ice cream, you know, so he would watch across the street as his store had literally 500 people in line waiting to get a little scoop of ice cream, you know, and just thinking about, my gosh, they must make so much money that day because people come for that free scoop of ice cream and then they're going to buy something probably. And if they don't, they're going to remember and come back or whatever, mm-hmm. but he great advertising idea. Right. So he's like, can we do that for comics? And so spread that around and around and finally he he was big enough where he was able to get ears on to people who could actually make decisions like that for something that big and all of a sudden yeah we have this free comic book day where you know they got all the companies at the time the big ones Mm -hmm. um to buy into this and say well you know make something that we can give away to the public so 
but we would, as a retailer, we would buy it at a low cost. Like they weren't giving it to us for free. So that's kind of the misnomer of free comic book day. It's not free to us. We, we pay for everything we get. We give it out for free. Right. Um, so it does cost us money. And in some cases, a lot of money, depending on how much we order. But, um, but yeah, we, we buy the product from these companies and then we give it out to the public. And so, uh, so yeah, so that's how it started. And um, it's, it became, after a few years, like the first year, first year was in the first weekend of May because one of the Marvel movies, I want to say it was the Spider-Man movie was coming out. So it was probably 2002, May of mm-hmm. 2002, I want to say when the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man came out. So when we're choosing the date, we tied it into that because that was like the biggest thing ever, right? A giant right. Spider-Man movie, right? So, and that worked out really well. So the next year... Um, I want to say it was the second or third year. So I'm going to go with it was the second year because I kind of I kind of forget. But the second year, it was it was there was a question on what day to put it because there was no Marvel movie coming out in the first weekend of May. The the or okay, so no, the second year was X Men. Okay, the second year was X Men, and they did come out in the first week. So the first two years, it was in the first weekend of May. The mm-hmm. third year. Spider-Man two was coming out, but it was in July. And so there was oh, a yeah. big hubbub about when to, when to do free comic book day. Like what, what made it a big day? Was it because it was tied in with a Marvel movie that was going on or was it the day? So it was decided to move to July to mm-hmm. coincide with the Spider-Man two movie. And we didn't like, I mean, personally, I disagreed with that idea. I mean, it wasn't my choice to make because it was more of a, industry thing right Um, i didn't like it i don't think it went off very well i think most people agreed so after that it was decided that the first week in may no matter what that was gonna we we staked our claim basically to that so we could always tell people hey it's always the first you know we didn't have to jump the dates around because then it's hard to remind the public right because they got a lot of stuff to remember so we just kept hammering first week in may first week in may and that's that's what stuck Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, luckily, Marvel tended to stake out that weekend anyway for their movies. Right. So I would say out of the 17 or whatever that we've done, I would bet 14 had a Marvel movie attached to it anyway mm-hmm. um, in some some way. So it, it worked out. And obviously, the first week in May sort of became the de facto beginning of summer, you know, that for the movie season and just for people in general, like that's what got them into you know, the holiday or, you know, the summer holiday or whatever. So yeah, it, it really worked out. And and of course, you know, this year, because of COVID, they had to move it to second week of August now. So right. this year it's coming up. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. For most people, when we tell them, they're like, oh, good. I didn't miss it. You know, because all they have is it's the first weekend in May. So we don't even know what the response is going to be because mm-hmm more than likely at least half the people that come because they're not diehard comic people. They're just people that know the day and maybe they just want some free stuff. You know, they just come literally come once a year to do this. They may not know that it's been changed because it was canceled last year. So, so that's, that's our big problem this year is actually getting the word out that, that it is happening and you know, that kind of thing. So, right. And and free comic book day is is August fourteenth of this year, right? Yes, August okay. 14th. Gotcha. And and you probably don't know, but do you, do you anticipate like they might move it back to May next year, or is it still kind of up? In oh, the de- no, no. I I would not. No, they they moved it to August because at the time they had to make the decision. Even though we were open, mm-hmm. you no. Know, even we would have been a little we probably wouldn't have allowed any kind of a crowd at that point. In right. May. You know, um, there just wasn't enough people vaccinated. There was still problems and stuff like that. So they made the call that August would seem to be on a national level. If everything went well and people were getting vaccinated, that most stores in the country could have some sort of a crowd, gotcha. not feel like they were doing a disservice to the community or breaking local laws or whatever was going on. Right. So, So they just made that call, Um, but no one wants it in August. That would be a horrible date for us because, I mean, really here (laughs) in Indiana, 
uh, all the state schools, colleges are back in session by now. So Purdue, right. Ball State, and IU, they're all back in college. All of our local schools, for the most part, are back. Mm-hmm. So some states wait till Labor Day, but we start in the beginning of August. So all kids oh, yeah. are back. So even though it's on a Saturday, well, I mean, you've, you've already gone into that routine of going to school. And, and now, and of course, we still have summer, which is still there may still be baseball going or soccer or whatever, you know, some sort of sporting event. You only have, you know, you only have two days of a weekend now, you know, it's just, no, it would horrible choices for, for a, uh, for that kind of an event. So no, it'll, I mean, I can't see why I wouldn't go back to first weekend in, or Saturday in May. That would be, it'd be silly if it didn't, it would be dumb. So I'll right. say we're going <laughs> to, but who knows people are, dumb sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you never know yeah um so you know the next question i had was you know why is it a big deal and how does free comic book day benefit comic readers as well as local comic shops and i think you touched base on that but is there anything else that you know that- yeah right yeah sorry i got off track a little bit but oh no that's um, okay that, w- that was a perfect segue actually so yeah that was fine uh, yeah so what it is number one it's advertising right it's mm-hmm. always been about making comics ubiquitous in the public eye, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's for, for my lifetime, most of my childhood and young adulthood, comic books were a niche market, right? right. You read comics, you were the same kind of person who played video games a lot, you're the same person who maybe did Dungeons and Dragons, let's say, or, you know, you had some sort of weird hobby, like making clay pots or something, you know, something that, you know, not every way, you, you tell them what you do and they go, oh, well, that's kind of weird. You know, so, <laughs> so telling somebody you collect comics, you read comics will get you kind of this sideways head tilt. Like, oh, OK, that's kind of weird. Um, so, you know, the purpose would be to make comics so common that you don't get that held, he- head tilt. And I think we are at a time now after 20 years of doing this that you tell someone that you read comics, you collect comics, they're not going to look at you funny. Now that may be because there's so many movies and TV shows. You can't throw a stick without saying, Hey, you've seen, (laughs) you know, have, have you seen whatever movie? And they're like, Oh yeah, I liked it. You know? And so then the notion of actually reading about those characters that you watch on TV is the same as like reading a mystery novel. If you've seen the Orient express, right? No one's going to look funny if you like mystery novels so so you know we're, we're at that point and and i would say free comic book day is a big part of that i would say more people knew that comics existed or found out that comics existed found out that comics were a thing found out that there was a store that actually sold it you know because that was the other thing most people would come in and go there's a whole store that sells comics <laughs> wow how did how do you make money <laughs> hard but you know we make money right <laughs> <laughs> difficult <laughs> because you don't know we exist, but yeah. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so it's advertising first. And then, and then obviously from uh, just a straight up sales day, if we do it right and we promote it right, you know, most people, there's always going to be a percentage that come and just get some free comics and leave. You know, that's, that's right. always, that's, that's what happens. But I think most people understand in the, in the, in the back of their minds that, Hey, throwing one of these kind of events does cost money. You know, Mm -hmm. we have to pay for employees. We have to pay for cosplayers. We have to pay for whatever kind of little stuff that we have. We have to pay for the product. Um, and so, yeah, they'll, they'll as a family come and they'll, they'll shop and they'll buy stuff. And so we end up having a a really good day of sales, you know, to, to mitigate the, stuff that we spend so so it's a great you know it's a good sales day you know right. it's usually the best days of the year now this year like like we said we're you know, we're gonna do it and everything and we're giving away a lot of free comics but yeah it's it's i'm so not knowing how this is gonna go so, right right yeah. um but it's a way also to maybe you know this year would be I would consider it a way to make sure that people know that we're still in business, that the comic book industry is still around, you know, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people just assume that some stuff, you know, they see empty buildings and stuff like, Oh, they must be gone, you know, or whatever. So whatever, whatever restaurant or whatever movie theater, you know, Oh my gosh, they're closed, you know? So yeah, (laughs) right now it's about 
after people know we're still open right a little bit so so yeah so i mean that's and then yeah i mean lastly it's just to promote comics as a hobby you know that that comics are cool i mean you know once you've seen all the shows i don't know you know some people do get the bug it's like oh man that was only six issues of loki well yeah. Is there more, you know, uh, you know, is there more <laughs> Black Widow? For the most part, yes, there is a lot more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some characters, there's way too much that you'll yeah. never read it all. But, yeah. you know, um, so, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I will say that um, in the past when I've gone to Free Comic Book Day at your guys' store, um, just like what you said, it, it seems like it's a, it's a, like a huge community gathering in that, um, you know, you all like had a crowd wrapped around. I, I remember like my sister actually went with us to go to free comic book day because she, I think, uh, was taking like our, one of our cousins or whatever, and he really wanted to go. And so she's, she's not a comic book person at all either, but right. you know, she came and saw and, and, and my son Riley, you know, saw all the cosplayers. I remember, I think Captain Marvel was there and he loved seeing that. Um, so I know that, you know, it's not just like, you know, we're giving free comic book days, but just like what you said, it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff almost like a community event going on. And so, um, so for, for this year, what, um, what, are, what is your store doing specifically to celebrate free comic book day, um, on August 14th? Well, we haven't gotten everything put into place. Like okay. I said, everything is pretty weird this year. So, right. um, just, and I'm sure there's, you know, obviously you've seen it in the restaurant industry and otherwise, you know, staffing is a little bit of an issue mm -hmm. um, uh, and stuff like that. But, you know, the, the plan is to bring back the cosplayers, um, uh, you know, and, and to make it a thing, but I, I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to do what we normally want to do. I just don't think we're going to have the manpower or um, just, just the, the I just don't think we're going to be able, we may not be able to do as much stuff around it. Right. So we're going right. to have the comics obviously. And, you know, there may be some surprises uh, if we can work out a couple things, but don't know. So it, it's like I said, being in the middle of August also changes things for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So even the people that would normally want to do something, they may be doing other things, you know, because you do have the state fair going on. Um, you know, the Indiana State Fair going right. on. So, I mean, luckily, um, well, luckily or not luckily, I guess, but Gen Con is usually at the beginning of August, but they moved that into September this year. Right. So, you know, I guess that's a good thing because maybe it would have been on the same weekend. I'm not, it could have been that Gen Con would have been the weekend of free comic book day. And that would have been a real, either really cool or really just not cool. I don't know. Right. I don't know. So I don't think about that, but, <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, this one's just going to be weird. I mean, I, you know, other than I know we're going to have comics to give away and I don't even know if I, like, I don't know if I overordered, underordered. I, I really, you know, it, it's, it's going to be a mystery. Like I said, I think getting the word out, I've, you know, we've, we've started telling people and hanging up signs, um, and we're going to push it hard for the next, you know, three weeks as we get closer. Cause you tell people two months away and they go, Oh, okay. Yeah. But then they'll forget. So you right. kind of have to do it starting through, you know, three weeks starting to really get the word out, but I just, I just don't know what kind of response we're going to get. So right. yeah, it's be, it's going to be a weird one. So, um, yeah, this, but we are trying, you know, we're, we're working on getting the cosplayers back and, and a lot of it also depends on what people are comfortable with. You know, I think there's still, mm -hmm. I, still may be a section of the populace that is not comfortable. You know, I don't, I mean, I don't think we're going to have the kind of crowd that we would normally get, but you never know. You know? Right. Um, so yeah, I wish I could say that I have something really cool going on, but unfortunately <laughs> I, I, I can't announce anything like that. Right. So no, that's totally uh, fine. doesn't mean yeah. it won't happen, but I can't really announce <laughs> it. Date, so yeah. Nope, not a problem. So, well, Mike, thank you very much for um, coming on the show and telling us a little bit about Free Comic Book Day and what your store is going to be doing. Um, can you share with all of us um, where we can find you online and where we can actually find your um, the physical stores as well, too, if somebody wants to come by sure. and visit? Yeah, so we're on Facebook, obviously, uh, DT Comics. If you search Downtown Comics, it probably comes up, too. 
uh, where our web store is www.downtowncomics.com. It's one word. Uh, we have three locations, uh, one right downtown. That's where we got started right off the circle in downtown Indianapolis. We have one up at the northeast side in Castleton, uh, right behind the Castleton Mall. And then we have our last location is out on the west side, West 10th Street near Ben Davis High School. Um, so we got three locations, web store. Uh, we have Twitter and Instagram. I don't handle the social media stuff, so it's out there. <laughs> Search downtown comics. Um, I, I do something on, I do some stuff on Facebook, but that's it. Right. My weekly, my weekly new book, little video. So, um, so yeah, there's where you can find us. And, um, yeah, if you have any more information about free comic book day, if you want to know what comics are coming out, free comic book day has a website. It's just free comic book day.com. All one word. You can go there and look at what comics are being released. You know, as with most stores, you know, I, I don't know what each store has its own policy because we don't have to order everything. We don't have to order any, you know, there's there's minimums we have to order, but no, no maximums and, and we're not required to order everything. So we tend to order at least a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. but every store will be different. And, you know, typically on a day like that, we will run out of stuff very quickly. Some of the lower hanging fruit of the comic books will run out of quickly um, because we usually do not put a limit we limit one per title for everyone but we don't we don't say you can only take five or you can only take eight now we right. may change that you know we we kind of make the decision based on what we feel is best for you know ultimately we want everyone to be able to walk away with a free comic right so right. if we feel like the crowd is actually too big based on the number of comics we have we may limit what you know only take four, pick four, pick five, you know, something. But right. a lot of times we're like, yeah, just take one of everything and, and you're good. With, with, but that means that people, even if they don't like it, they'll take one of everything. You know, we, you know, we, we kind of couch it like, if you're not interested in it, don't take it. But right. Because <laughs> it's free. So people take stuff that's free. So, right. So, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> keep that in mind. But um, there you go. Awesome. I think I gave well, thank all you. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. So when we when we interview people on our show, we always ask for their origin story. So if to start off with, if you could tell us, uh, you know, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your store and how it all came to be. Uh, my name is Jen King, best known as Miss Jen in the industry. I've been doing comic book retail since 1992. Uh, in which my husband and I, who is not a comic book person, but is instead a very supportive person, um, helped me by doing kind of like a rough out of trying to figure out if I was going to want to do this for my entire career by opening up a booth at a, what is essentially called a, a dirt mall, <laughs> flea market in Oklahoma flea City. Market, yeah. Mm -hmm. We did that for a couple of years, just on Saturday and Sundays. It was a lot of fun and we got to see all of, the world passed by our booth, you know, because flea markets are a lot of fun, a little microcosm of just about everybody from every walk of life. So, and I, I loved it. The bug bit me pretty early. I've always been in retail. I think the day I turned 16, I went and got a job and then I got a job, a second job the next day so I could work before and after school. But um, I just, I love hanging out with people and talking to them. I'm weirdly, and uh, no one ever believes me, even my husband, I'm actually an introvert. So I'm a decided extrovert. So I, I, uh, I, I'm in retail so I can practice being extro extroverted all the time. And the store that you have now, where is that? Uh, what, uh, what's it called? Where is it located? Sure. I, I own Space Cadets Collection Collection. Uh, we're in a suburb, suburb north of Houston called Oak Ridge North. But if you look at my address, it'll say Conroe because the city is so small, it doesn't even have its own post office. Okay. And uh, what's the, can you tell our listeners about the story about why it's called Collection Collection? Uh, so we decided pretty early on on the name Space Cadets, but I knew it needed some kind of qualifier for what it is. Because if you just have a store called Space Cadets, no one really knows what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And um we fussed around with a bunch of different words, but I was talking to my husband and I said, I don't know how to make, to get across the idea that we're a collection of collections. He was like, just call it collection collection. I'm like, all right, it's ridiculous. And I love it. 
So now we also have Space Cadets Gaming. Gaming is our partner. <laughs> and uh, I run a behind the scenes uh, business called Space Cadets Wholesale Wholesale. It's going to get worse. We're going to keep adding weird names like okay. that. <laughs> um, so uh, I've actually been to Free Comic Book Day at your store several times. Uh, but for, for maybe our listeners that don't know about what Free Comic Book Day is, could you tell us uh, a little bit about the event? Um, I love Free Comic Book Day because it is uh, the one day of the year that it feels like uh, faces that we've never seen come in. And uh, so we get to connect with a lot of kids uh, primarily. And I, I know that when I was a kid, I was terribly awkward. I was always looking for somewhere that I felt like I was uh, at least tolerated, if not welcome. So that's what we really built the store for. And we always feel like uh, Free Comic Book Day is kind of like that first touchstone where people can kind of learn what we're like. Um, we're a very huggy place. So the last year and a half has been hell for us. Um, so we're going to be very happy to get back to the hugging because um, we feel like everyone needs a hug sometimes. <laughs> yep. So um, we've been, Free Comic Book Day is a ridiculous event. Uh, oftentimes we have things like uh, Deadpool Olympics in which we uh, have people dress up as Deadpool and do things like tricycle jousting. Uh, we have a big dummy that we put uh, um, Francis's face on and see if anyone has any cool kickboxing moves so they can knock that thing <laughs> over. Uh, we, we just do, we do fun stuff like that. We invite guests that we uh, want to support. Uh, I think this year our supporting uh, publisher is going to be Red 5, who's actually local to us. They make really great comic books, so I like to support our locals. And then we'll probably have another, there's another uh, local comic uh, group called Dimension that I think I'm going to invite also. Uh, we're probably not going to invite a bunch of people to, to fly in this year. We're going to focus on our locals um, and get back to our roots. But in general, we usually invite someone pretty uh, spectacular to draw the crowd. I feel like this year we're going to keep it low key, <laughs> invite our for Marini's to bring there. They have got a cool uh, food truck called Chicken Cone in which literally it is a like an ice cream cone base and they make uh, like chicken wings or chicken uh, tenders in all kinds of flavors and they just stick it in there and you eat it out of it like an ice cream. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm mm-hmm. I was I was debating whether or not I was going to be able to come to Free Comic Book Day, but I think that that might have sold me. Um <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, there's free comics and then you throw in a chicken cone. And so it's yeah. what else you that's checks a lot of boxes. <laughs> um, so you actually do something a little bit different in the past with free comic book day um, and, and you make it uh, a food drive uh, and, and fundraiser. Can you tell uh, our listeners a little bit about that? It's going to be even more important this year than it's ever been because we didn't get to do it last year, but uh, just cat a corner to us. There's a little offshoot street that has an amazing charity called Nourishment for the Needy, which is essentially like a food pantry. They have some other things that they help uh, people with, like clothes, if they need fancy clothes to, to go and have a job and they don't have the ability to get clothes. They mostly serve single parents that just are having a hard time making ends meet. They're very a non-judgmental place and they... Um, they really take care of their people and they really, they, they specifically take care of our local community. So it's not like supporting a community thing that goes to, you know, another country or another part of the state. It really does stay in our local community. So it's a good impact. And we just ask people. So what some people don't know is that the comic book stores themselves actually pay for the comic books they're giving away. They're not magically free from uh, the publishers because the publishers offset the cost by eating part of the cost on their end, but they still can't, it would be really super expensive for them to do it completely free. So the stores are paying roughly 20 to 25, 30 cents a piece for the books they're giving away. And so we kind of like think about that in terms of money and ask if people can please donate if they don't have, they don't want to haul around cans of uh, food. Uh, If they donate a dollar for every three books they pick up, that's about an equal amount of money. So we're like, it's like a matching program, right? (laughs) Oh yeah. It makes sense. It's it's a really good, it's a really good um, way to, to make it unique for the community and to, and to go a little bit above, uh, above and beyond what you're, you're normally there to do. 
Um, surprises us every year. I think uh, last year that we got to do it, we donated about six hundred dollars, and then probably twelve uh, what we call diamond boxes. Once the, the comics come in, uh, worth of canned goods. And I love it because they're the the charity is only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so. I have to wait until the Tuesday after the event and I like pulling up in my truck. They just have, they come out grinning ear to ear because they know what it means. <laughs> oh yeah. That's amazing. That's really, that's really great. Um, so how, how does free comic book day, you talked about uh, a little bit about this, um, about getting new readers and new, new people in the store, people you haven't seen in a while, but how does, uh, how does free comic book day um, benefit uh, the readers as well as you uh, like the local comic shop. I think it's a, a good way. I, most of the publisher have done, publishers have done a really great job of knowing that this might be the, the first time or the only touchstone that people have had with comic books or they're, you know, like they're brand new readers if they're young. So they make sure that they make stories that um, give you a good idea about what their universes are like. Or in the case of Marvel and DC, they usually put some really key event that's going to happen. You can't get in any other books. So the free comic book day book itself is a very collectible thing. So if you're a collectible, if you like doing collecting, then it also becomes an event where you can get something special. And um, yeah, I think it's a, a good way to gauge whether you are a, a comic book reader because it's probably not everyone's chosen way to read. There's a lot of people that prefer novels or graphic novels only or are digital phone folk. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of those things are great, but this is a good way to like not have to spend a lot of money to try to figure out if comic books might be your jam. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I haven't been able to pull the, um, I haven't been able to pull the trigger on like reading things uh, digitally yet. But like, I, I think I prefer like graphic novels because I like uh, closure. Like I, I, I don't like the serialization of like television shows. Having to wait a week to find out what happened on Loki is like killing me. Uh, so, and, and then that's, that's very, that's a very comic book thing. And so like, for me, like it just is, as I get older, I'm like, no, I'll just wait for the trade. Cause I, I just, I can't live and die on the anticipation. And I'm, I'm the opposite. Cause I grew up in the age of X-Files where you get to the end of every X-Files and especially the season ender and scream at the TV because you knew you had to wait for a week because right. there's no such binge watching. Well, and, and even the makes that way too. Yeah. Even, yeah. Even the good um, trades, like the, a lot of times you're like, Oh, that was so satisfying. And then you turn the page one more time and it's whatever sets up the next arc and you're like, Oh, then I got to get the next one. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's, it's, I, I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to free comic book day and I hope that we get a chance to, uh, to get down there, uh, to visit. Um, I may bring some cosplayers with me. I don't know if you saw Madden's, uh, Thor, uh, cosplay, but he's, that he's working on, he only has the helmet left to do and little sister will probably be like the Valkyrie to go I with love him. it. Yeah. Uh, bring them, yes. Uh, yeah. She's very excited about having a, a big kid cosplay now. So um, before I let you go, can you tell everybody where uh, where they can find you online so that we can send them to your website or eBay store or whatever, whatever you'd like to offer up? If you want to go to our website, it's www.spacecadetscollection.com. Um, that has links to all of our uh, social media, et cetera. But if you want to just find us, we do have pretty active pages on Facebook and Instagram and occasionally, uh, Jenna, who is in charge of all our social media, puts up TikToks, in which I'm terribly awkward. So I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> all right. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Free Comic Book Day. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. All right. So before we go, if you're interested in attending Free Comic Book Day, you can find out more information at freecomicbookday.com. Check out the store locator to find a shop near you. And if you're in Indianapolis, go see Mike at Downtown Comics, which he, they have three stores, one on West 10th Street, one on Downtown, and one on East 86th Street. And if you are in North Houston Woodlands area, go see Miss Jen at Space Cadets. And that's going to wrap up another episode of The Caption Life. We hope that you enjoyed listening. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button on whatever major podcast platform you listen to on. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Caption Life. 
If you like what we're doing, give us a shout out or tag us in your post. For more info about us and all of our previous episodes, please visit thecaptionlife.com. Until next time, go get you some comics. Free comic book day.